it. This is the P. Welcome to my. I play the thing and I'm playing. Langrisson. Uh, blah, 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 not Langrisson. What am I talking about? Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I'm playing Modern Warfare 3. Wow. This is so going to be a fuse winner. No matter how shitty the quality is, I'm so going to rake in the views. Especially when I uh, recorded it two days after its release. I mean, come on. That is a sure winner. Anyway, this is the intro. This is Macroft talking. Blah, 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 blah. World War, parade, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> I don't give a shit, to be honest. I think this is Sakharov, or Sakharov, Sakharov, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Sakharov or something, I don't know what his fucking name is. The bold guy from the first game, the villain, the bold guy with a long beard. Looks like an Arab. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough here. The fire builds. Devouring everything in its path. This is a deliberate act of war against the United States. Our enemies believe that they alone dictate the course of history. That all it takes is the will of a single man. So yay, we got the intro at fucking last. of this fucking boring monologue from some but hurt Russia because his gay boyfriend died in the first game. Who cares? I sure don't. Anyway, I gotta mess around with these fucking settings here, stupid. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be offended by the... Here's what makes me laugh. If you don't, if you fuckers gonna bitch about this game, right, why fucking play it? There's worse games out there, it's like fucking creepy shit in Japan and all this. But people make a fuss over the violence. Don't play it, simple. And if you're one of those stupid parent cunts that buy their kids, uh, 12 year old kids, these games, it's your fault. Don't buy violent games then, wankers. So anyway. Oh look, Shepard, but he dies. How far will you go to bring it back? Second game. Shepard. Shepard created a war. He was voiced he by Lance Henriksen, I believe. And the other guy, uh, Soap, was voiced by that ginger guy who was in Train Spotting and that HBO series Rome, I think. But yeah, you'll remember him from the Train Spotting. He was that. Uh, Athletic guy, and he recorded his porn thingy. Yeah, trade spot. Yeah, that Scottish guy, you know, blondish ginger guy. Anyway, Price uh, is voiced by that um, old geezer who was in the extenders and lawyers for you. So, so, do you want to claim compensation? Oh, yes. That was by a Churchill accent there. I forgot that geezer's name, but he's got like curly hair or something. I bet he's like getting loads of money for doing this shit. Holy shit. So you're in there, my friend. Whee! Nice shot. Game over, yeah. So yeah, when do we fucking start the game? This is what makes me laugh about the like, campaign mode of Call of Duty games. Well, except for the first one, very first one, because that's pretty much straightforward. But it's just like these these fucking long ass intros, the dialogue and all that. Just want to play the fucking game. Hurry up! For fuck's sake. Oh wow, I get a trophy. <laughs> Give me a blue Peter badge while you're at it. Sorry, I'm not a smoker York, like my dad. I just got back units in the area we can request. JSAR's got a Delta Force team at Bennett Field. Call sign metal. 
Lord, Metal Zero One is up on Greensath. This is Sandman. Understand we are Opcon to you. Over. Glad to have you in our corner, Sandman. The Russians are using uh, just some American gung-ho Americans think they can take on the war or typical. And finally, their wet dream has been realized. The, the Republicans, the commies are coming to go into war with the Americans. I bet all the Republicans are masturbating on this shit. Thinking that the Russians will one day invade them. Or something. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. If anyone could invade the world, it will be me. The ginger cunt. It will be me. Or oh, me. I'll have some army of demons or something. And kill you all. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting out of this fucking helicopter. You know, getting out of a helicopter or vehicle, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Probably a helicopter. Uh, let's see some building. Oh look, 9/11. Eat your heart out. Never forget. <coughs> anyway, time to get to mass. Modern Warfare style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Now, he's getting put so much emphasis on missions. It's just basically from point A to B. It's just. All this fancy crap, you're just like camping, just like take a couple of shots, you're just here's what makes me laugh, right? In Black Ops, right? I can dive and shit, but on this game I can't. It's a fucking joke. I wanna dive, just do that run and dive thing. People might bitch about Treyarch, but at least they got the run and dive thing right. I don't know what that thing did, but I used it anywhere and it explodes, so I just assumed it was a grenade of sorts. And that killed that cunt good. This is actually my first playthrough of this game. I just got it. First, I just recorded this first time I played this. Because I'm in a uh, views competition here and I'm going to get loads of those views. Because it's the only way to get popularity is just play this shit. <sighs> oh, by the way, I've cut, I've disabled the raids because people are like cut the raids. They're just like being twang. They'll just like make accounts after it. Spam sock accounts just to like troll me. It's just perfect. So I disable the uh, ratings and just, you know. Comment commentaries welcome. All commentaries welcome. You can say how I suck at this game. Or the quality is bad, I got a PVR to record with, whatever the fuck. Thing is, I don't have mommy and daddy to pay the a PVR, thanks. I, you know, all it's coming out of my fucking pocket, you little fucking cunts, and I hope you get cancer, you fucking little douchebags. I never, f you, you're the reason why uh, the internet is so shitty. Well, YouTube. And another thing is, uh, <coughs> you don't like the quality, but tough shit. It's a dazzle, what'd you expect? does its job quick complaining oh you can't see those stupid little icons at the bottom well it's full fuck it's it's widescreen what do you expect uh what else uh oh uh you can't play for shit well so what there's no skill involved in call of duty absolutely none if you can call skill campaign into some corner and just shoot the shit out of people while they will notice that, that if that's your definition of skill, or a new new tupid, you know, using the grenade launcher over and over and over, then you're a pissant. As for online game, online multiplayer, well, it's always hacked, in it? You, you know, fuckers like hack into the servers, mess around with physics, where some fucking cub would just jump across the other side of the street. Bullshit. That's why I don't play a lot. Of Make boat players so much that I just don't take it seriously at all because of the, the server lag and all that. You know, you like shoot hundreds and hundreds of thousands of bullets at some guy just to kill him. Yeah, if he hits you one, just one bullet or two bullets, then you're down. It's pathetic. 
I doubt the you know the server problems are fixed in this installment because you know Activision being the cash cows that they are, just want an immediate uh, release of Modern Warfare for free. I'm quite surprised that this game exists because of this court case thing. And uh, if you, well, it's between. In case you fucker ignorant fuckers don't know, it's, it's basically between the Infinity War founders and they're arguably the, the, the founders of the whole Call of Duty franchise versus their former employers, Activision. And, uh. Oh, look, I killed some guys. Wow. Uh, so yeah, that court, court case is gonna be held in fucking May. Uh, and if the founders win, they're gonna get. Big slice of the one more for free profits here. Uh, if if Infinity Ward founders are like innocent of the <coughs> innocent of the you know the things and in about Activision being cunts, then they should have some serious back. Or the Border Warfare franchise. You know, but the Activision are just cunts anyway, they'll just use whatever underhanded trick they can to uh, get away. That's what big companies do. But why am I supporting the... Well, I like Call of Duty anyway, so fuck you. Alright? So, I think, you know, just because I support the founders doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not, I'm not going to stop buying a copy if I think it's good. Um... Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward seem to have done a good job so far. No complaints here. It's just Call of Duty, isn't it? It's just like, wow, this, you know, you don't really interact with the scenery at all. And it's just a typical first person shooter. I mean, it's quite. It's, it's a good first level, you know, it's just. Bang in there in the action, you know. World War 3 started. Let's kick, let's kick some ass. So yeah, it's just basically, you, I just cab here and just shoot as many soldiers as I can. Uh, this ain't going to be an extensive playthrough where I'm going to show you the fucking guides and all that. Did you just hear me previously that I said this is my fucking first ever fucking playthrough of this game? So I'm not going to know where everything is and I don't care to. If you want an extensive playthrough, go watch fucking Rooster Teeth or some crap like that. If you want to know how to lock out here as well. Go look at these guys, I don't really care. I'm just doing this for amusement purposes, just playing, just calling about crap in general. Anyway, I'll just kill some guys here. Oh, these fucking Russians, bad. <coughs> uh, I think the, the reviews are ridiculous. I mean, they're, they're giving them a... I give this at least a 7. At least a three out of five, uh, because every Call of Duty uh, game I've bought so, so far, well, the recent, the, the the contemporary ones, uh, like from Modern Warfare One to World of War, blah blah blah, and to Modern Warfare Three, it's been pretty much the same shit. And for the reviewers to tell me that you know this game deserves ten out of ten, I mean, from edge of all people, because they're like fucking. Aid over the games they play, they give them shit reviews. Compared to like something innovative, but they give like Edge of all fucking people gave this game like 9 out of 10. You know that Activision be bribing. You know that Activision be bribing these cunts uh, to like, you know, to give them a good say because, you know, that's how it works now, folks. It's not a, a genuine uh, review from. Uh, so-called professional reviewers is just, you know, if you pay them a lot of money, then, you know, don't get a good mark from it. So you got to let me out of the top reviewers like IGN and whatnot. I don't think this game deserves a, a high score, to be honest, because there's a lot of more in-depth, innovative games out there which don't deserve the credit, which don't, like, get any applause whatsoever. But if it's just a cash cow, then yeah, it's it gets 10 out of 10, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but saying that, yeah, I'll give this a 7 or a 3 out of 5 so far. 
because it's not nothing different compared to the last Modern Warfare games I've played or Call of Duty for that. But oh yeah, well you can change the scope of this one. Wow. But it's still the same shit. Oh wow, I died there. Oh dear. I'm going to get slagged off now. Oh no, you can't play for shit anyway, you're a noob. Oh yeah, you're still at school and you're a virgin. Wow. Oh, I'm a virgin and I'm 28. Wow. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it just pisses me off when these fucking so uh, soldiers out of nowhere just come run around you and just scrape your ass. It's just fucking, fucking annoying. Anyway, that, uh, take two on this uh, part of the act, level, stage, whatever the fuck. I don't care. Cool bleed. Bleed icon. When does the fire start? Alright, just tell him and be the cheap cunt. Tiger building up ahead, push forward. So, yeah, just basically uh, cab, shoot, high behind corner, cab. Yeah, I'm playing this on a uh, normal difficulty as well. I'm not going to have so many headaches playing this fucking shit on fucking really, really hard difficulty. If I wanted to do that, I'd go trophy hunting if I wanted to do that. And I have nearly every platinum of, uh, well, I have every platinum of nearly every Call of Duty uh, released on the PS3. I have platinum for the first game, very first Call of Duty, uh, which is a port of the PS2 PC version, uh, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, Black Ops, and uh, hopefully this game when I get around to it. Because I'm fucking ill, you fucking retards. Oh, I can see this now. I'm gonna get stupid comments from fucking little brats. Or maybe they'll just spite me by not giving any acknowledgement whatsoever. Who knows? I don't know. Ugh, fucking cold. Grenades there. I don't know what kind of place this is. This must be like a stock exchange place or something. All these fancy computers and monitors and shit. So, yeah, if you're not too careful, they can like own you, these fuckers. So, just pick them one at a time. I do hope they introduce the juggernauts in the campaign, but that's wishful thinking. I just, I guess it's only exclusive Spec Ops uh, enemy, but it'll be nice if they introduce some fucking juggernauts in the story mode instead of the same soldier crap. But hey, I could be surprised, you know. But yeah, at IGN, GameSpot. Uh, edge, you're all cunts because, you know, it's pathetic giving this uh, game a high score when it don't deserve a high score. It deserves at least a 7. Like the last and still the storm before that. It, it deserves at least a 7. I'll still play it, but it just deserves at least a 7. It don't deserve a 9 or a 10, whatever. It's just, look, it's the same shit as the last game. And people say Battlefield Battlefield franchise is a lot better than this shit. I've not played battle any Battlefield games. My cousin has, right? And my other friends have as well. But I... <clears throat> I kind of... I, I do agree that it's just some insane shit.
but I can say the same thing about Nintendo. Nintendo are twats. They, they produce the same shit over and over and over. They really, they still cling on to fucking Mario and Zelda like whores, the whores that they are. You know what I mean? If they produce something new, I'd have a heart attack. I would. If they produce something new, original and fun, I'd have a heart attack. But they don't. They produce the same shit over and over and over. Right? And people bitch about a Sega uh, whoring on Sonic. Well, Mario, fucking Nintendo's been whoring out fucking Mario since 1984. I like Zelda. I, I hate Mario. I just hate the Mario games. It's just they're just fucking boring, you know. I'm playing on a ladder. Um, don't seem to to give a shit about what's going on in this game. But anyway, um, I don't care for Mario games. I just don't. I just the music gay. It's all childish shit. Uh, it's not badass like some, the whole Sonic the Hedgehog games. I'm sorry, but it's just there's no comparison to Sonic. What Sonic's about speed in there. You know, you know, you spin board, all that crap. Get the emeralds. You know, that's fun. You know, I don't have to fart about listening to some fucking game music, picking up tourist shells or whatever the fuck. Doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over. Stand Mario game. I played like Mario, Sun Mario Super Mario Sunshine or whatever it's called. It was fucking crap. Wow, you get you spray fucking water, over, you know, clean off the dirt or sludge or whatever the fuck. Wow, very clever. Now Zelda, I like I like Zelda games and I like the Metroid ones. The Metroid games are the closest thing to adult entertainment uh, Nintendo will make. Um. Metroid I've got the problem with, even though it's just the same shit over and over. Well, not so much, because Metroid Prime games take the same shit. It's, for, it's from a first person perspective. I didn't like Other, other M much. Uh, okay. Uh, but anyway. I think that's it for the level, or am I wrong? Yeah, I'm wrong. Looks like I've still got more fighting to do. Uh, put on my scope and just shoot these cunts. <coughs> so yeah, just press the R, uh, you know, the diagonal D-pad, just press the left. Just press left and, um, hey, we get the Predator back. Wow, how innovative! This is, like, the most original game ever. I never used a Predator since, oh yeah, Modern Warfare 2, yeah. Oh wow, hi, that is so new! Oh wow, oh, I never did that before, just like home, home in the, on the fucking, oh, hi, you whatever it's fucking, fucking cold. <coughs> Yay, checkpoint reach. Yeah, you get a helicopter ride. Wow, that is original. That hasn't. I never had a helicopter ride since. Oh yeah, the last uh, Scorn Duty games. Yeah. Hold on, we're going oh, I never used a turret gun before. Since. Oh yeah, the last Scorn Duty games. <laughs> ah, fuck you, Call of Duty fans. I don't give a shit. I'm bitching however I see it. My fucking playthrough don't like it. Fuck off. Come up, lads. We're going on the run. I got the run. Got shit. Got shit. Got shit. Oh no. no. Oh yeah. I've basically, I've got to take out these helicopters. Oh no. Get back. So yeah, we're ready for the shell these choppers here. They're te they're kinda like bosses I think. I don't know. I don't think Call of Duty cares for having boss um, fights in this game. They class the Shepherd fight as a boss fight, but it's not really a boss fight at all. 
Uh, some people class it as a boss fight for some reason, but there, there's no bosses. In, there are no bosses in Call of Duty. None. So I don't know where people get this impression that there's a. The only boss character you fight is on the fucking zombie game. You fight with these, you know, like the pentagon thief and, you know, that giant gorilla thing. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Oh no, he's gonna. Oh, how typical he's gonna collide into my chopper. Oh wow, I didn't expect that. Oh look, oh that's kind of good, oh, uh, a flaming can of Pepsi coming at me, I think it was Pepto, no, it was the word drum, my bad, and spinning right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round, you spin me right round, baby, yeah, I believe this is the end of the stage, Thank you for watching. Put it up with my not sets and stay tuned for Act 2. Because you're in for a long, annoying ride. See ya.